So do you have any questions? Yes, but one, one that, <laughs> that I thought about before coming here. Um, this oneness. This oneness. Oneness <laughs> of not having this limit anymore, this limits anymore. Of being one with others and with, uh, with everything. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure whether I can experience that. I can experience it only if, if, if I, I would say it in my words, there is one and there is two. Yes, it's true. Okay. There's the experience of two within the one. Okay. Right? That's how come we're having this conversation. I would be stupid to sit here talking to yourself. Right, without, sometimes I think I without think. that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a. This is the beauty of the humanness that there is the play of duality. But when when we are identified in that duality, that's where the suffering is. But when we are awake to what is the same in everything, then we can really play in duality. That play doesn't go away. Oh, okay. Sometimes I think I take words to uh, literally. Literally, yeah. yes. Not only you, this is the trap of all the um, spiritual seekers, um, professional spiritual seekers, is that they've uh, listened to all the words and collected a lot of concepts about what those words mean. And then they're trying to have that experience. And of course, that, what keep, that is what keeps them still a seeker because they haven't seen what the words actually point to and what because remember that these words are coming out and out of every being who <coughs> expressed this it was always limited because it cannot be spoken so the moment you start to speak it is already it's already not complete because it's uh, it cannot be captured in words so the words are like a, a pointer only, like this, the words, and it's, it's here. So not to get caught on the finger that points to the moon, right? Mm -hmm. So it's to look beyond the finger to what it points. The words are just to point. And we get more and more refined to try to put it into words but then, again, it will be cancelled out by another speaker that finds another way to say it, because to hold on to the words, and then you are in a trap again. And most of the uh, deconditioning of the seeking is erasing the illusions of what have been... Um, now built up as beliefs, mm -hmm. you know? Because you hear oneness and then there's an, it, the mind captures that and it has the expectation that you wouldn't experience these bodies as something separate, right? Mm -hmm. But no, it's like, you know, in the, when we first started to sit here, I said, become aware of the inner energy field Right? And then become aware of the energy field collective. Right? And can you see that where you put your attention is your experience? So when your attention is in your inner 
energy field. You can feel what's what's happening in your share of the collective. And when you you just open your attention and you are aware of what is one energy field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And each one is bringing their own uniqueness to this particular energy field right now. Yeah? Right. So if somebody sits here and they are busy like tripping in the mind or whatever, that's producing energy. Right? Which even if the others are not um, aware of, they're picking it up and information and it's being exchanged and this creates the and that's like on a small scale in this room but imagine the whole planet mm -hmm. you've got everything you've got everything that can ever exist in the human condition is in the collective consciousness and you cannot separate from it yeah so everything, all the, all the um, heaviness, the weight, the, all, all of the so-called negative parts, and also all of the very expanded, all of that is all in part of the collective. But what are you attuned to? Right? Depends what radio station you're in. Yeah? The focus. Um, um, we have the choice to, to focus. To focus, but also to what is your priority? <coughs> what is the priority of your life? What are, where does your attention go? Yeah, focus. What do you give your life? energy to? What do you feed? Because your life force, your life energy is everything. What you feed, so you become. Mm -hmm. So although you are the great freedom of the absolute, you are also the limited suffering, egoic, you get what I mean? Mm. Depending on where you're, you're, what you're feeding. Mm. I'd like to share an experience about this freedom. Uh, I think I, I went through a time where I really, that was the mo most feared, this freedom. Uh, in the sense, um, I felt that all this conditioning, conditions, all that identity that I had made me up and uh, if I would give it up I would be lost. That's what she was describing this morning. Right. Yeah. That's what she was showing. Right. Right. We would be lost, hallelujah. Yeah, and I feared it. Yeah. What is it that fear, fear it? There's one thing bugging me which I have to speak. Can you bring your chair forward so I can look in this direction instead of like that, it's my head. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right, so um, fear of death, we're talking about ego death. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Because when you move into the um, being in a, in a, these are just words, right? Don't take them literally and don't hold on to them. When you're in a space of, of pure being, not being somebody who has control and has to make life go a certain way. So you have, you have, Surrendered, right? Mm -hmm. That's ego death. 
<clears throat> and the, the ego, which we call ego, I don't want to make it like a terrible thing, but the ego is the only thing that is afraid to die. Yes, and at that time when I experienced that, uh, I guess I didn't know anything that would be beyond the ego. Right. And that that's, was hard that's and why, frightening. Yeah. That's what um, Sonia was showing this morning. Uh, yeah. yeah? Who will I be without, if I'm not somebody, uh -huh. who knows where to go and who's got direction and knows what to do next and has got life by its, and thinks they're in control. If I'm not that, who will I be? Yeah, what will move me? Yeah. Yeah. You know, one, one sentence that Osho used to say and one book he had was to get out of your own way. <coughs> and then I started to uh, realize that life itself is good enough. <laughs> Without you. <laughs> Without. Yeah, I didn't give up, give me up completely. No, because you are life itself. Right. You're yeah. still here as life itself, but without you, who is trying to fix? Mm -hmm. That's where freedom is. Right. Ah. So but I had to go through this experience again. Yes, and again, and again, and again. Yeah, not always in the same depth. No, but you just went through it in the dance. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. right? And it was not as moving, as hard, but it yeah. still... Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. It becomes much more subtle in the little things all the time. Yeah, and it became easy to decide. Yeah. The like first that. time it was a very hard decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now it's not even a decision, it's just you see it and pfft. Yeah. So what stands in your way of living true to really be yourself? Well, maybe, maybe my ego got sort of comfortable. <laughs> that means it, it's not the same anymore as it used to be my person, my personality. It became freer too. Yes. But you sat down here and you said, I want more freedom. So... Yeah, right. So, so I... St In my experience, there's always more freedom. There's always more, there's always more, there's always more. You know? Mm -hmm. It's like a keep on daring to really be yourself in a world that tells you not to be. Mm -hmm. I think they were all my dreams, my deep dreams as a child already was to be more free. Mm. As soon as you started being told, don't do that. Do like this, not like that. Yeah, not always to have to take um, 
uh, to respect uh, could I bother somebody or yes. uh, just just to be more free in that sense that I don't always have to try to please everybody exactly yes uh, that I was very strong uh, yes. into trying to please everybody yes exactly and not knowing anymore what I really wanted yes that was completely gone. I, actually, I didn't know if somebody would ask me something, what do you want? Oh. oh. <laughs> yes. So I came a long way. <laughs> From but a lot of the people live like that, you know? Mm. Fitting in. Mm. I told you the other night, I prefer to be a weirdo than a, sh than a robot. Oh, I prefer to be a weirdo than a robot. A freak. I prefer everybody judges me and doesn't like me or whatever than to be a robot. I want to be myself more than anything it means. I saw one, um, what is it called, post, I saw a post saying, uh, was Frederick Nietzsche, is that how you pronounce his name? Frederick Nietzsche. No. He said, I don't remember exactly what he said, but it was something like, Ah, I have to say it in my words because I don't remember it, right? But it was something like um, to stand alone and really go for being yourself has always been a struggle and, and a, a lonely place to be because the whole world judges you. But there is no other, there is no greater pain than not to live that. Yeah, he said it in different words, but that's. <coughs> and for for me, it's all. Even though I don't talk, not at all live it all all, all the time. This freedom, mm. it's great to just know there is this freedom, and I don't fear it anymore. As I, I initially I feared it, and now it's I, I love it. <laughs> so, are you clear about? Um, okay, to put it in different words, it's like initially you feared it because you were somebody, somebody, mm -hmm. right? And I love it means that you are that freedom, because it's it's your home. You're not separate from it, yeah? It's the separate identity that is afraid to step out of being a sheep. Yes, my, I guess my challenge is to stay focused on that and not to lose myself in my old identity. Everything. That will also um, depend on what you do with your life energy, where you focus it, because you're in a collective energy field that is focused on material life. And if you don't uh, take your space to energize 
a way that is nourishing <coughs> for the soul, you will also get pulled into this. Uh, it the, you know it sucks because the material world, as beautiful as it is to enjoy and play in, it's um, unfulfilling. Yeah. Ultimately. So unless you're um, spending some life energy on nourishing what you love to be in, you can easily get sucked in. Create space, just two simple words, but it goes a long way. For example, before decisions, I ask myself, where am I now? You're asking me? No, I oh. I could ask my myself during the day. Just or as you said it yes uh, on Tuesday. Now and now and now just stay with it. <laughs> this presence. I guess that helps me, uh, these words, to take step by step and uh, go again and again in contact with presence, being present, being, being here. Mm, yes. Being here, everything is. So where are you going for the weekend? Yeah, you will still be around somewhere in the world. If you don't chat around, then... It's not about me. <laughs> nice to see you anyway. Nice to see you. Mm-hmm.